Hello, good morning. Uh, this is Lorenzo, and um, I'm here gonna gonna teach you guys and uh, give a lesson on the arterial supply of the heart. Now, the heart is a very important um, viscera in the human body, particularly in the cardiovascular region, and um, we know that the heart is responsible for proliferating blood throughout the entire system, through the all the organs of the body, the brain, the the renal systems, which is responsible for excretion, yeah, the the lungs, which is responsible for the respiration aspect of the body. But um, amazing it is that the blood, which is the organ that pumps blood, also receives a collateral and uh, advantageous amount of blood supply. So here I have drawn the basics of the arterial supply of the heart. Now in this system here, we notice that in the um, we have to know that the, the blood supply to the myocardium is provided by branches of the right and left coronary arteries. These two arteries are the only branches in the ascending aorta um, and arise from the right and left aortic sinuses of the ascending aorta, respectively. Blood flow enters the coronary arteries during diastole. Remember that, in during diastole. So what I'm going to do here is provide the uh, all of you guys, uh, the, the watchers of this video, the names of this particular artery. Now over here, in this large aspect, this artery that comes, that overrides over here, this artery is known, uh, the base of this one, is known as the left corner artery. So I'm going to draw this here. It's a L -A -L -C -A, okay? So it stands for left corner artery. The one that precludes, um, that, di that divulges to the, to the heart's, um, its left region here, but to us, it looks on the right, but it's actually the left. It's called the circumflex artery. So it's called the circum, circumflex artery. Circumflex artery. Okay? Remember that. That's circumflex artery. This one over here, the main branch over here, that comes down from the, uh, from the left corner artery, is known as the left anterior descending artery. This is known as the LAD. L-A-D. Left anterior descending artery. Um, and the one that comes down from that branch, this particular branch over here, this is known as the diagonal artery. So, diagonal artery, okay? And the artery that's behind this, this one that I, that I established and labeled over here, which is actually in the, in the posterior region of the heart, this is known as the posterior interventricular artery. The reason why it's called the posterior posterior interventricular artery. The reason why this is called the posterior interventricular artery is because, one, anatomically, it's located in the back of the heart, and second, it is in between the ventricles, the left and right ventricles. Um, and this dashed line that I provided in here, just for illustrations of you, this is also known as the AV nodal artery, okay? This is known as the AV nodal artery, AV nodal artery, AVDA, AV and AVNA. <laughs> and... Um, for these structures that I drawn in the in our from our view in our left side, but actually in the right side of the heart, this main artery here, as we can know from this one is the left coronary artery. This one is called the right coronary artery, right coronary artery. That's uh, a large aspect. Any large artery, any any thrombosis or atherosclerotic plaque in this artery will lead to the infarction of the of this particular system of the heart and will lead to myocardial infarct uh, death which will lead to necrosis of a region of the heart and which will lead to a weakened heart and uh, decreased blood flow um, so in this one here this lower region this is uh, it's called the marginal artery okay marginal artery forgive my writing <laughs> I have horrible handwriting um, so in this top region here, this artery here, this is known as the S-A nodal artery, okay? S-A nodal artery, SANA. Whereas this one here is the A-V nodal artery, right? This is the S-A node, this is the A-V node. As you know, I'll explain this later in another video, but the S-A node in this region is also known as the pacemaker of the heart. This is the reason why is because the S-A node is, has, the high, in this, has a higher amount of myocardiocytes that... Um, that pump and are active the most because every single um, cell in the myocardium, every single myocardiocytes 
are electrically connected and it follows the fastest beat. The reason why the SA node is called the, the pacemaker is because it has the, this is the region of the fastest one. It controls every single aspect of the heart. So in that, in that note, a clinical correlate that we should remember is that in myocardial infarction, the left anterior descending artery is obstructed in 50% of the cases, the right coronary artery in 30% cases, and the circumflex artery in 20% of the cases. So remember that the left anterior descending artery, as I noted here, the LADA, right? The left anterior descending artery, this one here, this is usually what is occluded most of the time in, in myocardial infarcts. And 30% of the time, as I said, the right coronary artery, which is, which is located here, this is going to be, you know, that's going to be occluded. This one is usually occluded 50% of the time. And the, the circumflex artery um, over here is usually occluded 20% uh, of the time. Remember that. So remember that the right coronary artery, which is this one over here, which we, which we labeled over here, which I labeled over here, okay? Uh, the right coronary artery courses in the coronary sulcus and supplies the major parts of the right atrium and the, and the right ventricle. The branches of the right coronary artery include the sinoatrial nodal artery, the atrioventricular nodal artery, and the posterior intraventricular artery. Remember that these are the, these are the branches of the right coronary artery. The left coronary artery, which is labeled over there, um, travels a short course between the left auricle and the ventricle, and it divides into two branches, the anterior interventricular, or left anterior descending artery, and the circumflex artery. So remember that, and the, you know, that's basically the main blood supply to the heart. And this is a little out view of the arterial supply of the heart. That's the basics. I will provide another video for the venous supply and the conduction system. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.